what I like about Dos Santos is pretty much that it's a me melting pot of different cultures. We have uh, Puerto Rico, Panama, Mexico, Texas, and we all bring so, so, so much of a different thing. You know, like Nate study jazz and Pete is, is a salsa player and, and Jaime, he, he, he grew up like with the folkloric uh, Mexican music. Alex is well, well around it too and then I'm from the rock um, um, punk scene, but we all play all kinds of music. That's what it makes, makes the, the difference. We just not like call like a cumbia band. I just try to be myself. I feel like that's maybe why we all work well together is because we're all pretty real. I don't think there's a whole lot of acting going on in the band. And I feel that we are now creating um, a sound that's, that's very honest to who we are and very honest to where we are and what role we play in, in, in Chicago and as well as in the Latin American and American music scene. Our language, maybe um, when speaking about what we wanted to set out to do, had a little bit more to do with um, a vulnerability. I, I know Alex had a lot of intention and vision with this particular album. Not only did he have that, you know, as a lyricist, as a vocalist, but also as a, sort of the leader sonically. So the name of the record is Logos, you know, in the kind of Greek literal sense of the term, right? Logic, the, the, kind of an appeal to, to reason. We can sort of extend that out into like this notion of a statement or staking a claim, the word, right? In terms of or la palabra, right, in Spanish. So. It's translatable, both in, you know, meaning the same thing in English and Spanish, and so that um, is, you know, at least for us, something that, that's important and to take into account. But I think also, you know, the, the record itself is a kind of a collection of like musical and lyrical statements, both within and that is kind of reflective of our reality. We, we began making the record of summer of 2017, and it was a really interesting experience, I will say, because it's a pretty intense context we're living in right now in this country. And so th those months specifically, it was this sort of intensified kind of sense of urgency. You had a number of instances of like really crazy racial violence in this country. You had uh, Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. It's like all these things are making sort of people generally feel um, on edge. I definitely want to say that recording the album in 2017 I guess I can count myself as lucky. I got to work through or receive some kind of therapy through trying to put out something creative in a time where it seems like nobody has time for creativity. Everybody's got a lot on their mind. And so the whole album is about like conversations. And so I say that it was a, a kind of interesting and almost surreal experience because as you're kind of weighed down by this sense of like the unbelievable kind of happening, right? We at the same time were able to carve out this space where like we can just concentrate on, on this sort of creative process. Where all of a sudden the rest of the world is kind of muted for at least those few hours that we're creating and trying to sort of collaborate with one another. We recorded this album largely in a very like small block of Bridgeport mostly in uh, co-prosperity sphere, uh, which I'm sitting in right now. Uh, Copro has an infinity room. <laughs> and you know, um, being able to come and play around with the sound inside the infinity room was probably my favorite part of the recording because every sound that came off of my hands would just like reverberate straight out. Yeah, yeah we also recorded at uh, Bobby and Casey's, which is right across the street. Um, the Middletons are a really fantastic uh, couple that live in Bridgeport. We did a lot of overdubs at uh, Danielle's place, which is just down the street. I think we were just comfortable. It wasn't a conventional like, studio setting that we were uh, going and it's, there's like glass windows and you see your bandmates. It's like, okay, are you ready? It was more like, oh, we're all in the living room playing music and jamming. Like, 
like with friends, you know, we, we had like a, a beverage on the side and we have food there and friends were coming by and it was very, very comfortable. So kind of the geography of like this one block in Bridgeport, Morgan Street, where we <laughs> spent like six months making this record in this super homespun kind of way, uh, which, you know, really gives you a feeling of this, of this place for sure. You really push to be quite genuine with your art and your music in this city. If, if, you're, if you're doing music in Chicago to try to like impress people or whatever that means, right? I think like people are more about, I think, sort of having a sense of respect for what you do. And so I think that that is definitely a kind of a way to, to keep folks, I think, who are making art, making music kind of grounded and genuine. I think Chicago has played a very big role in music for the whole world, really. There's a lot of excellent uh, blues and jazz stuff coming from Chicago, house music and hip hop. So many uh, people from different countries uh, establishing themselves here and creating their, their music, that, their culture that they bring from wherever they're from, but they also know that they're from Chicago now. So, so this music, it's from Chicago now. You know, it's totally maturing. It's, uh... It's more refined. It's, it's, it's picking apart each other's strengths and, and putting them up on display. You know, it's, 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 this project is such a cool feeling. Uh, you know, this one is going to be hard to top. <laughs> <laughs>